Gentlemen and the Odd Lassie, we're going to go over the most important thing you can do when building a deck. We're not even on my deck. Stay tuned for more. Okay, you're probably wondering why you're staring at some ugly wood paneling in some ugly basement and I'm chatting about decks. Well, this is the most important thing you can do. This is your ledger board attachment. What is the ledger board? It is the piece of wood sitting against your deck, acting like your pillars, your post. It's carrying half the tributary load, the other half is shared by your post. So it is the most important thing you can do is proper attachment of that ledger board. You can do your own search, but the number one failure is ledger boards coming undone from the house. And there's a good reason. Most guys drill in one of these lag bolts, okay, and hoping it catches something. Some other guys use expansion anchors, hoping they've expanded properly. But what you're looking at here via some threaded rod is the best way to attach it. You drill a hole all the way through, you open the opening on the opposite side, and you put a nut on each end. This is the best way to attach it. It will never come loose. You can adjust it in the future and you see where it's being attached. The reason I don't like these legs, it's just a bigger Tapcon. And you know Tapcons eventually get loose. But if you're gonna do this, use the leg, do it right. Make sure you have access in the other side and it goes through wood, okay? Check your local building code, how often you space these, but it must go through wood at the end. There's your joist header. You gotta see it go through wood, okay? For my deck, it's a lower deck, so this is where the uh, anchor bolts, zoom back down there. This is where all the anchor bolts were, okay? And, uh, but if I could have done, I could have used these improperly, go through, some guys do it, uh, the alternate choice would have been expansion anchors, but I just don't like these. You got to tighten them over time. You don't know if it's grabbing properly. This here, threaded rod with a nut on the both sides is the best way to go. Now, the advantage also is, yes, these are a little more work using threaded rod, but you have to space them further apart. So in the end... You might save a bit of time. Overall, probably not much. For one guy, it was a lot of labor to install these because I had to go back in the basement, make sure the rod came through. I had to cut them. I had to tighten them on this side, tighten them on the other side. Uh, tip here, don't make the hole too big or else the rod thread starts spinning. Okay? Make it just a little bigger than the threaded rod. And when you're hammering the threaded rod through, make sure you put your nut on the end so you don't damage the threads. I realized that mistake and I had to go back and cut and, and add more thread to it. So hammer it with the nut on with a dead blow or a, or a hammer. Lubricate the threads so it goes in easier and that'll help you there. Now if you had to and you didn't want to expose the other side, I guess these are okay, these expansion anchors. But what does it take to cut a bit of drywall? Not much, okay? You can patch drywall. It's easy. You don't want your ledger board to come untouched. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subs subscribe. Disclaimer, I am not responsible for any mishap. Check your local build code, do it right, or hire a contractor if you don't know what any of what I'm talking about is. Okay? Be smart, be safe, check your local building code. I'm just offering advice. Keep it between the ditches.